Hey guys, what's going on? My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build a Theme Park, episode 13. Lucky for some, I suppose. <laughs> Could be unlucky for us. And today, uh, I was planning originally to do another sort of food shop, a, a chip shop, a fry shop. Uh, but I thought, no, let's do another ride. So we're going to do another like ride. Blah, blah. Last episode, we done the space thing. I just added a little space sign on the top there so people knew what it was. For some reason, I really like that. I know it's not the best. I know it <laughs> doesn't really have much at all. But I really like it. I really... Really don't know why. There's a villager wandering about. There's a couple of them. They're all slowly popping out of their minecarts, which is a bit of a shame. But that doesn't really matter. So today we're going to do the dunk thing. Where you throw something and if you hit the target, uh, the sort of platform drops and it splashes someone in the water. And I've seen these done many, 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 many times in the past. However, uh, in Minecraft, there's a few ways to do it. But each way sort of requires resetting it every time like back in the haunted house over there uh, someone was saying why don't you have pictures that pop up pop off the wall and the reason why I didn't do that is because that means it has to be reset every time you have to put the pictures back on uh, ready to be reset and I want to be able to go on the rides over and over and over again and not have to reset them every time which means that the usual way that people do of firing an arrow at a painting and when the painting falls off the guy drops into the pool of water whatever that means we've got to reset it again and again and again, no matter how many times we want to do it. And if we use a button, I tried shooting a button with an arrow to do it. But then you have to go over to the button uh, and collect the arrow. Right, look, I'll show you what I mean here if you're a little bit confuzzled. If we have that, that, and that, and then we shoot the button. The button is now um, in, which means that it's having a redstone signal coming out, look. But it doesn't reset uh, until after one minute, and then the arrow will disappear. And you have to go close to it for it to reset. Which means we couldn't use a button. So then I thought, well, minecarts. Minecarts will work. You can shoot a minecart. And then somehow we can figure out a way how to replace the minecart. And I've done it in a way that we can actually play this game nine, whoops, nine times before it has to be reset. Which is pretty good. I'm, I'm chuffed with that. I think that's about as good as, as we can really get at the moment. As soon as we get hoppers, we should be able to have them infinite we should be able to have as many as we want um let's use glass as well on top of here so we're just building the tank at the moment like this but yeah we just need a way for hoppers and then we can literally have we can replay this with this style that i've done literally as many times as we want so i'm just going to build a little wall here it's my own design i spent forever <laughs> trying to figure something out i think we've got something in the end and what we're going to do as well is we're going to have whoops lava down the bottom here and that way we actually kill the villagers off when because we're going to use villagers to fall into here there we go we're going to use villagers that are going to fall into here uh, but if we use normal water we would just end up with nine villagers in there and it's just wasting space and there's no need for it so if we instead use um uh, lava at least that way uh, it just kills them off and it also resets another villager on top as well this design I was so chuffed with it I was so pleased with it you wouldn't believe so I've got the redstone fairly compact around the back I think if we use what color should we use for the redstone um, let's use yellow and then you guys know where my redstone is gonna go so what we're gonna do is behind the one with the trapdoor. That's <laughs> that's another thing. We don't have upside down trapdoors. So when this gets activated, the trapdoor goes up instead of down. But that really, really doesn't matter. So we know that this block here is the one with the trapdoor on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a yellow block there. And now we can replace back this. I just took that away so I knew what block the uh, trapdoor was on the back of. Let's get some redstone stuff. There we go. Now we're going to put repeater here. And then we're going to come out with a block like this and shove it back nice and close we're keeping it pretty much as compact as uh, as I can possibly do uh, in this design uh, I haven't really spent too much time trying to compact it up closer but I think I think it'll work okay okay so we're gonna have that there and then we're gonna have this there and there with a block have I done that right nope I haven't I've got a picture on my phone of what I've done before, so I knew how to do it again if I needed to. It's lucky I did, otherwise I would have been stuck. So this is what we've got so far. And now, uh, we've got that block 
let's have a, a normal quartz block here. We'll have a normal quartz block there, and then a yellow one there, with a piece of redstone. And then here, in this little hole, we're going to put a dispenser that is going to hold our minecarts. So we can now take that block away, and we take that block away. Uh, it might be easier if we have this actually a quartz block, and then it's not a yellow one. doesn't stand out as much. Okay, so that's a pretty good start. And now I think what we can do is if we place a powered, uh, or not a powered rail, a detector rail down here. When we get a minecart, and we put a minecart on there, as you can see, it all, it all activated. And then we take it away again, it all unactivated. So basically, what this is going to do is once, when we have a minecart on here, the trapdoor is down. And then we shoot the minecart, boop, and it goes up. And it will also shoot out another minecart. If we put some minecarts in here, look. Uh, and let's get a button as like a, a reset, just in case when we log out of the world, the redstone masses up a little bit. If we put a button right here, that should fix that problem. So, we'll hit the button. It fires out a minecart. And the uh, trapdoor comes down. And then when we break it, it goes up. The villager falls in. And it resets another minecart. And we can do this for as much as we want. As long as there's minecarts in the dispenser. Now, when we get hoppers, we can have a hopper on top full of minecarts. And the chest on top full of minecarts. And you could pretty much have as many as you want. Uh, but because we don't have hoppers at the moment, we can only do it nine times. But I think that's a pretty good start <laughs> uh, at the moment with what stuff we've got and how long I've been thinking about this. Uh, I haven't really put that much thought into how exactly it's going to work. Okay, and then at the top here is nice and simple. We're just going to have a dispenser at the top here. Let's uh, block this around with some quartz blocks and hide it a little bit. And then we can stick some villagers in here. I'm so excited about this. Let's just <laughs> fill up with villagers. There we go. You can have loads of villagers. You can't just can't have loads of minecarts. Okay, so let's get some, a bunch of minecarts, and now we're pretty much done. So, if we put that there, we'll also have one extra. So you could have ten, I suppose. Ten, like that. Now, um, let's just activate this once so we get a villager out here. I think I've got it hooked up, right? There we go. The villager... Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. You're free for now, my little friend. You won't be for long, though. Oh, I didn't have any hiccups like that when I was um, trying to practice it. Uh, let's have that there. That there. Nope. Oh, I hate these pillar blocks. You've got to get them so right. Uh, uh -huh. Take that away for now. There. Perfect. Okay, let's put it back. That one and that one. Now, hopefully, they won't be able to run off again. I'm hoping. There we go. Okay. Now, from all of my testing, I've left him on there for a while, and he never walked off it, which is good. So, what we can do now is if we get a bow, hopefully, the actual workings of it are complete. Boop. There we go. And we get another villager. I think that is pretty cool. It's unique. I've never seen a design like this before. We can now make this all pretty and make it look like an actual attraction. But it's not bad. It's nine times you can play it, which is probably more than most people are going to play it anyway. And uh, <laughs> I like killing villagers. It's the best, isn't it? <laughs> okay, then we can stand back here. We're, t we're so far away that we can't get into the minecart. That's a couple of mistakes I'd done when testing it, is I kept jumping into the minecart and, like, suffocating myself, which wasn't quite as fun. Uh, let's get... Oops, not that one. Let's get a bunch of different quartz blocks here. I like, I really like quartz. It's very neat. It looks very sort of almost circusy. It's like a little circus block. And believe me, this, this took for some reason. Whoops, I done it. See, that's my problem. Uh, this took so much testing. It was so much more difficult than I originally thought. I thought, no, nah, this will be easy. I'm sure we can figure out something that'll look nice. I've never worked on any of the aesthetics, though, so uh, I'm sure we can come up with something that looks okay, but. <laughs> Might take the rest of the episode to do. Uh, but yeah, I had all sorts of... I had rail designs. And uh, yeah, I had like five minecarts that sort of looped up and round and pushed down. I had pistons. 
uh, and all sorts. And in the end, like always, <laughs> the simpler it is, the better. It really is so true. Just keep your design simple and uh, and it'll be a lot easier to work with. That's definite. That is 100%. Okay, let's put one there as well. Uh huh. And uh, we can actually probably, yeah, we can. We can take this away. That makes it a little tiny bit smaller, doesn't it? Oops. There we go. There we go. I don't want to use too much redstone because I didn't want it to be, oh, I didn't want to end it up being absolutely huge, which can happen very, very quickly when using redstone. You can end up with huge long leads and everything like that. If you guys didn't quite get the redstone, here it is. Okay, let me go through it because I haven't really done that. So ignore the buttons. The buttons are just for sight, sort of uh, resets. Now, this block here, uh, this redstone, is being powered because on top of this block is the detector rail, yeah? Right on top of that block is the detector rail. And as long as there's a minecart on it, the detector rail is being powered, which means this redstone is being lit. And because this redstone is being lit, it's powering this block, which is inverting the signal on this torch, which is why the torch is off whenever there's a minecart on it. When the minecart comes off it, that torch turns on. Okay, and when that torch turns on, it powers this piece of redstone, which goes this way, which powers the trap door on the other side of here, which is what drops the villagers into the lava. And it also goes this way into this block, which has to be white because you might just be able to see it. I don't know if you would anymore, but if that was yellow, like the rest of the redstone, uh, you might just be able to see a little glimpse of yellow there on top of the um, minecart, which is why that's white. Okay, so it powers that block, and through the repeat, it powers that block, which powers this little piece of redstone, which powers the dispenser firing out another minecart. And I didn't know that you could do this on Xbox 360. I didn't think they had put this update in yet. It's the first time. I, I had no idea that you could power or fire minecarts out of dispensers and they would fire whole minecarts. That must have been in TU14, but I just never realised. I never noticed. But that's a really cool thing. That can come in really, really handy for all sorts, even in our Let's Play world. So, we fired another minecart out. And then the signal also comes up here because this torch is turned off when this gets powered, powering this block. So it turns off, which turns this torch on, which powers this redstone, which fires out another villager. And it's pretty compact. It's mostly one wide. It just has to be two wide here so we can actually power the um, trap door. I'm sure you could probably get it down to one wide, but I really didn't bother that hard to try and get it compact. Uh, I think it's compact enough, as much as we need it to be. So uh, I was very chuffed with it. I was just chuffed that we actually got something that we didn't have to reset every time. So I'm just going to come out there so we can actually... It uh, looks a little bit more symmetrical then, doesn't it? You see what I mean? We don't need it to be, in fact, though, do we? We can take that away. Yeah, let's try and get it as small as we can. Let's take that away. We'll come around here. How does that look like from the front? It's not looking bad from the front. It's not looking bad. I reckon we can still do something up here, though. We're going to use mostly quartz, I think. But in some places, we're going to use some colours. We definitely need some sort of... Um, I don't know what you would call it. Like You know how we've got on top of the um, ice cream truck? We've got like a little awning on top. That's the sort of thing I want on the front of this. So, it's looking okay. It's actually quite a amusement, amusing looking... Blue um, what's the word? <laughs> Forget it. I'm messing up my words. I have no idea what I'm saying. Okay, so let's carry on with some quartz pillars around here. We'll box this in. Yeah, I'm quite pleased on how compact it sort of ended up being, seeing as though it was just a last minute design. I suppose it took me about half an hour, I suppose, to sort of work out a design that worked, because there's so many things I tried just... I wasn't happy with. I didn't like them, so uh, that's why it really took took so long. I just wanted something that hadn't been done before. And as far as I know, this design is mine. I've never seen any design like it, and uh, I I can pretty confidently say that there's no one that has done the exact design as this. I'm sure people have done minecarts before. I'm sure people have used minecarts on this dunking system, but I'm pretty sure that there's no redstone. Uh, similar. I'll tell you what, should we have a um, a note block as well for a laugh? Oh, what about some 
lamps as well. I'm sure we could probably get a little sound in, couldn't we? Uh, that would work, wouldn't it? Whoops. Would that work there? Probably. Did it not work? Oh, it did work. I don't think I can hear it. I don't think my volume's up enough. Let me just turn my volume up so I can hear it. Da -da 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 -da. Let's have another go. Yeah, it did work, but you just... <laughs> you can't hear it over the... But it does work. Um, Yeah, what about some lights then? Can we get any lights in anywhere? Uh, what about on the block of here? Would that work? If we take that away. Sorry, villager. I'm sorry. I know. I do apologise. Uh, <laughs> let's put that back on there. There we go. We can just reset a villager out. Does that work? I'm sure it will. Yeah. Why not? As a little light there. I even heard the um, note block properly that time as well, which was nice. Okay. Now, let's get some colour at the top here. Let's go with... I think, well, seeing as though it's sort of lava-based, uh, we can't use any wood, obviously, but maybe we can use some sort of fire colours, maybe a bit of black as well. That's a cool hot bar, isn't it? And a splash me potion. There we go. Uh, let's go with some orange. Yeah, some orange on the top there. Let's go around here. Try and get it a sort of flame design, if we can. And then maybe a red one. Uh, we can't with the button there. That's right, we can do that. You just knock it out. Knock it away. Uh, and tie this redstone up, we'll do that. What if we put an orange lot around there as well? Does that look better? That looks pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. I think he liked that. I think that's what that meant. And then we can cover this top up with some yellow. And down here. Uh, let's go around the note block as well. We don't really need to see the note block, do we? Uh... <laughs> sort of, sort of. Let's um, see if we can get like some wiggly flames or something to make it look a little bit better. You guys are so much better at me at this sort of thing. There we go. We'll put some like wiggly flames in. I think it's looking okay. Get some different colours in there. It's different. It's definitely the most unique dunk in the world, isn't it? Let's get some yellow ones. Ah, that's the trick. Some different colours in there. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, yellow one here. Uh -huh. Now we're getting a design that looks like something. Hopefully. I think. There. 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 Yes, it's looking more and more like flame. Let's just put some little orange ones in now as well. And then I think we've sort of got a really cool looking design. It's, it's really, um, what's the word? Terrible? No. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love this series. It's nice and relaxing building with you guys. There. And we'll have one more that comes up here. There we go. What about one on here? As well. Ha ha! That's actually looking okay. That's not looking bad at all. Uh, should we put some more glass up around this vill these villagers? Oops. Should we do another layer or two? Or should we actually, like, completely block them in? Um, we need a quartz block at the end there. I don't want to be able to see into it like that. Let's get some stairs. Curve that one round. Oops. Like this. Uh, there. Careful now. Wonderful. And what about, like, slabs on the top or something like that? Just to, whoops, just to block them in. Huh. Huh. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> it's like a little chamber. Oh, that actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, so we've got that in there. What about a little awning or something that pokes out on here? If we get some string, uh, let's get some string. And then we go with the same. Well, let's go with some, what about black and black and orange or black and red? Black and red. 
we put a little bit of an awning out here. Now, if we shoot this string with a bow, it's not going to break, is it, or anything silly like that? No, and we can shoot through it. Excellent. It doesn't get hit or anything silly. Um, yeah, we'll just keep it three wide. There we go. Have a black one. Oh, we can't go to there. Damn it. Um, okay, we can figure something out. Eh. Um, at the back here, if we put full blocks then. Careful now. Don't break anything. We're not meant to. Not this close to the end. That's wrong. There we go. I don't like the I don't like the black though. I don't like the black. What about swapping it with yellow? Do do do. Germany. There we go. Excellent. That's pretty cool. Let's sleep away this night time. Can we sleep yet? Probably not. Where's the moon? There's the sun. No, it's not quite sleepy time yet. Okay, now we need some sort of uh, place to stand. Now, if we stand here, yeah, we're inside the minecart. That's something that we, we don't want to be able to do. So let's um, sort of mark off an area where you have to stand behind. If we have this here like this. Yeah, you can't get into the minecart here. So that's a perfect sort of length. We'll block this off down here. Can I sleep yet? Should be able to. I can. Woohoo! How are we doing for time? Oh, uh, we're at the end of the episode. Damn it. Got to go so quick. Um, yeah, so you can stand behind here. Let's put a chest down with a bow in it. If you're on creative mode, you don't need any arrows, which is great. Um, let's have that there with a bow in it. Should put a, let's put a few bows in there. Why not? In case there's friends and stuff to do it as well. There we go. Perfect. Uh, one more <laughs> to make it even. Otherwise, I'll get annoyed and you'll get annoyed. There we go. Okay, so we've got the fence. You can't go any further than that. Uh, if we get some... i got hiccups. If we get some grey wool. Uh, and like a... What about a yellow and a black? It's like a no-stand zone. So you can't... You're not allowed to be in this area here. Like that. Excellent. And if we just fill up a bit of grey around the outside and sort of finish it off, I'll say that that is episode well done. There we go. Completely unique design. You saw it here first, guys. I'm going to call it the the Z drop. That's going to be the technical term when it's a really famous design. <laughs> like the T flip flop. It's the Z drop. No, I don't think it's that good. It's not going to get famous, is it? <laughs> Perfect. All right. Hello. What do you think? Do you want to go? Five pound a turn. It's cheap. It's a cheap price. Take it or leave it. And then at a surrounding wall here. I think if we put these quartz pillars. Seeing as though this is our sort of wall design on this map. Whenever we need a little wall, we just put down these pillar blocks with a uh, a slab on top. I've done it in a few places now. It's just a nice, neat, a really nice height wall as well. You can't jump over it or nothing like that. That looks okay. Uh, should we have it coming along the front as well? Let's have a look. There. And. Oops. There and there. That looks okay. That looks okay. Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, let's have a go. Uh. Also, we should really have a re an, an easier way to be able to change, or, or not change, but reload as well. So, what do you think? What would be the easiest way? If we lift it, I don't really want to leave it like that. What if we had, we could do it like that, or like that. That doesn't look so bad, does it? That doesn't look so bad. Okay. And I think if we go around the bottom here with this block, it'll make it a little bit more interesting as well. Uh huh. Oh, careful. Quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. Hopefully, 
Uh, oh no, this is going to go bad, isn't it? Uh, let's do it like that. We'll be safe. There, there, there. And I'm hoping that this lava won't burn the carpet. I'm hoping. I'm sure it won't. I'm sure it won't. Okay, yeah, and then what we can do is we can then refill our minecarts from through this little gap. I don't know how many we need. There we go. Perfect. Wonderful. Wonderful. Little secret. When this map, eventually I'm hoping to put this map up for download. I know at the moment it's impossible. There's no way to put up Xbox One maps for download. Uh, but I'm sure there'll be a way in the future. And when it does, I'll be able to put this up for download, which will be great fun. <laughs> oh, I love it. It works. Fantastic. Alright, guys. I suppose we're going to leave it there. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode, where we probably will be getting some more food now. Okay, then. Bye!